Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Men, what kind of low grade sexual harassment do you face on a daily basis? I used to work in a job in the entertainment industry where I wore a kilt a lot of the time. Couldn't believe how many drunken women thought it was perfectly okay to stick their hands up under it and grab a handful of my junk, sometimes pretty aggressively too. I quickly stopped freestyling and wore boxers or compression shorts, and this would lead to the grabbers shouting out, this loser is wearing pants. Before mocking me to their pals. Oh, and far too often my kilt was lifted for anyone in eye shot to see my junk, yet when I pointed out how much trouble I would be in for pulling the same shit with them, I'd get looked at like I was being feckig ridiculous. Imagine literally trying to grab a guy's junk and then acting like he's the weird one. B.R.O. You ain't fucking believable. I could never believe the shocked look on their faces, especially when I asked what the fuck they thought they were doing. Like they were just having a laugh. Scott here, just so you know freestyling is not as common as you might think around here, from the times I've felt confident forward slash bevved enough to ask, and it's actually banned from certain events such as dances, since accidentally showing your knob where there may be kids is a bridge too far for tradition. I worked at a quasi-governmental agency and we hired a young guy fresh out of college. The director who is a woman walked in the room one day walked up behind him put her hands on his shoulders and literally started rubbing his chest. This was like three years ago. He just sat there frozen like a deer in headlights. I kinda lost my shit and said what if he was female and a male walked up behind her and started rubbing her shoulders like that. She looked at me like I had two heads. I didn't stay at that job very long. Holy shit. Hopefully neither did that guy. He didn't. He was recently married and everyone knew. You did a good job of explaining that. I keep picturing a guy just frozen with his female boss groping him. Yuck. My husband has complained that there is this societal assumption that men are dogs who always want sex, and as such several times he's not had his marital status respected. Women he's only been nice to in the past have made comments like yeah, he's in love with me, he'd do anything for me openly in front of him, have sent him messages prompting infidelity, and have even sent him nude images. There's a confidence that they can steal him not only from me but his past relationships because men cheat is such an assumption. His favorite thing to say is the only thing I cheat on is my diet. My father-in-law has said that some women see a wedding ring as a signal that he's extra attractive, or a challenge, or something. He tells a story about a female co-worker, at his work holiday party she came up to him and said, so who are you going home with tonight? And he said, my wife while pointing at my mother-in-law standing next to him. The co-worker was like, oh, well, let me know. WTF people. That some women see a wedding ring as a signal that he's extra attractive, or a challenge, or something. Not even a wedding ring necessary, all that's needed is for the man to be taken. I was a nobody teenager, no interest in me whatsoever, but the second I got a proper long-term girlfriend, suddenly I was getting attention. If the guy is taken, there must be something good about him seems to be the thing. Which, sadly, implies that if a guy isn't taken, he must be no good, which is an awful dose of reality in how men are viewed. My husband has experienced this shit at work, too. He's a police officer that works in a federal facility. He's uniformed, so, he gets even more unwanted attention than the average. We'd joke about it, until I ended up working in the same facility and would watch him get hit in daily. The man literally can't be nice to any women at work or he risks having them follow him around. I almost lost my mind having to watch one particular woman talk about him to her girlfriends, while standing five feet away and within earshot of myself. Yes, she knew he was my husband. No, she didn't care. We bitch about men hitting on women while they're working and all the things they do to make us uncomfortable, but, women do this shit with impunity. I'm a young male teacher, in my mid 2020s and twitties. I get a loo out of this stuff along with trying to set me up with other teachers around my age. Like no, stop. Please. It's uncomfortable. I don't want to have to chuckle nervously every time you say if I was half my age, I would scoop you up. I used to work in a place where an almost 70 year old woman would constantly harass a guy in his 30s. Loudly tell him he's handsome, he's sexy, say that's, name, he's my boyfriend. And everyone would laugh. The guy would chuckle nervously. Every time she had an issue with her computer or couldn't lift something, hey, name, my sexy boyfriend, I need you. 
Everyone thought it was funny, I thought it was gross. The guy being hassled was the quiet type and would never say he was uncomfortable but I could tell as a woman he was. I finally went to my supervisor and told her what this lady was doing was unacceptable, not funny, and if a man was doing it to a woman he would be fired. She tried to tell me it was just a joke but I was like yeah a joke. Well something must have clicked with the supervisor bc later that week the old lady stopped catcalling him and never did it again. Treated me like shit until I quit though. Treated me like shit until I quit though. Completely unacceptable, maybe should have gone to your manager again. I read that as the manager treated her like shit. Had a female manager get into my unlocked phone, send my nudes to herself, and then shared them with the other female manager. I was 24 at the time and both managers were younger. At the time I honestly didn't know how to feel about it so I just shrugged it off with bravado because they were both attractive so what the hell. But now I realize that attractiveness isn't a free pass for invading someone's privacy like that. Don't even get me started about being a straight male hairdresser. Dude, I am so sorry, that's horrible. That's not just an invasion of privacy, sending someone's nudes without the person's consent is straight up illegal. Can you imagine trying to explain that one? No officer I didn't send them. Yes I know they were sent from my phone but it wasn't me. No I didn't send unsolicited nudes. I was in the store and an old woman on a mobility scooter wanted to pass me so I stepped to the side against the shelf. Instead of using all the free space on the other side she starts turning closer to me as she passes so my dick rubs all across her shoulder, she did a weird moaning sound at the same time. I posted about this on Facebook at the time and almost everyone thought it was hilarious. That is beyond creepy. MMMMM yeah fuck my shoulder, Sunny. Yuck. That made me feel disgusting just reading it. That is creepy and disturbing as fuck, but the mental image did make me crack up a bit, to be fair it's because it's so absurd I think a slow-mo close-up shot would fit into a raunchy comedy movie. Ha ha yeah I wanted to laugh as well after it happened until I realized I had been assaulted basically. I guess as a guy you're not used to thinking that way. I'm not really sure if it counts or not but as a male who used to be extremely overweight I would always have people guys and girls, trying to touch my man boobs. It made me self-conscious and uncomfortable and I voiced that but people continued to do it. They would grab them or hit them and pretty much everything in between. It happened very frequently as well but I guess nobody saw a problem with it, whether it was because I was a guy or because it wasn't a traditional form of harassment. I still have mine, but I'm sorry people did you like that. Man that must have sucked. I feel terrible having people just point out that they exist. Start moaning while looking at them. They will stop right away. I feel terrible having people just point out that they exist. Perceived imperfections. No matter how small. They make you think less of yourself overall. So when they debase you, or go on too far. You don't really stop them. That's just who you are. You watch while it happens. For they can't be blamed. You know that it's you who should just be ashamed. For if you were stronger for longer, you dream. You'd change where you're from. Who you are, how you seem. But fuck all that nonsense. It just isn't true. You've got to make sure that you matter to you. So when they reduce you to chubby or fat. You know, and can say, that you're worth more than that. I was once dressed as a priest in a party and a girl, out of the blue, said I want father's holy stuff while trying to grab my croak. I quickly moved to avoid it and she said what are you gay? Well, I am, but just because a guy avoids having his dick grabbed doesn't mean he's gay, maybe they just don't want to be touched by you Tracy. Edit, word. Classic Tracy. Such a Barbara. Yeah Tracy, those vows of celibacy ain't just for show. 32M with athletic build. At every job I've had. Co-workers and customers have always openly grabbed my arms, smacked forward slash squeezed my butt, and made comments about my appearance that would get me fired if I said them to women. My husband is a server at a high-end restaurant. I know restaurants are restaurants everywhere when it comes to staff, I've worked in plenty, but he's told me that he get harassed pretty much every day. Either hit on pretty openly by customers despite the wedding ring or grabbed forward slash groped forward slash commented on by his co-workers. I'm so sorry you've gone through that. It's absolutely not fair. I hope it ends for you, because I know even if you said something firm and simple like no or don't touch me, it's already been done, and nothing really changes. 
I've never in my life understood how people just touch strangers in any way, let alone smack their ass too. Yoop. I'm so sorry you have had to deal with that. Right. I can't figure this out either. I'm not a man, was lurking to see answers because I feel like this is an underappreciated issue for men, but strangers touching me was the worst when I was pregnant. Like who tf walks up to someone they don't know and rubs their belly. Often without even saying anything. I just don't get it at all people don't understand personal space anymore.